Alright guys, so this is going to be the new Nightmare Boss Guide. Uh, a lot of you don't really know how to do it or how to actually get to the boss. So, as you can see, we are starting off at the beginning of the Nightmare. And basically, you're going to make your way to the Vault Room and you will have to have had both marbles and at least 500 Ravoy tokens to enter this room. And basically, you can kill this boss without taking any food in, which is what I do. I think I've probably killed it already around 20 or 30 times at least, and I haven't used food at all. But basically, if you don't have the same armor I do or a gnome rocket launcher, you probably should take some food in because you're going to take quite a bit of damage. But if you have wings and minion, then... Essentially, you wouldn't get hit from almost all of the boss's attacks. I think he has two that will still be able to hit you. One is a little chain attack that links to you and you can destroy it so it stops or just get far away enough and it would break. Um, another one is a little bomb that he creates. I think if you get far away enough, it won't hurt you either, but sometimes you just can't get far away, so you're going to get hit. And the armor I'm using is Forgotten Life. And all the other pieces that I'm using, like the shoes and the ring, are mainly for more endurance. But the main two things that you would want to make this easier is a minion and wings. It makes the boss a lot easier. And I am basically running a lot of endurance because the gnome rocket launcher doesn't get any bonuses from your stuff. So I'm just wearing mostly uh, endurance based items so I can shoot more. And a lot of people seem to be having the most trouble with the second and third rooms, which you technically don't even need to go through those rooms if you can do enough damage. So if you had a gnome rocket launcher or uh, I haven't really tried this boss with more people, but I'm not sure if it scales with more people or not. But basically for the first room, you want to do as much damage possible to the sleeping rat boy and once he gets down to a certain percentage of his life he will wake up and it will take you to the circus a lot of you probably won't be able to do that much damage to him in the first room but if you have the gnome rocket launcher and around the same armor and stats that i had that i showed in the beginning you will be able to do it with the action cancel but most of you are going to end up having him disappear and when this happens you have two little guys that will spawn down basically kill them any way you can um, I'm not sure what determines this, but sometimes another one will spawn, sometimes another one doesn't. Um, either way, when you go into this next room, the easiest way that I found was to just stand with your back against one of the walls. And then you will be able to move to the left if you see the bookcase in front of you coming to you. And if the one to your left is moving too, you just wait for the one to move and then move back, as you see in the video. Um, I have also discovered that this room is a lot harder sometimes than other ones for some reason. Like, for instance, right now the room is just super bookcase moving, and obviously I did get hit because I moved too soon. Um, that's just a problem. I, you just pay attention to when it's coming and when you move and you won't get hit. Uh, not really sure what determines the bookcases freaking out like they were in this specific video, but they definitely were trying to murder me. But other than that, with your back against the wall, the, re the coins actually can't hit you, and as long as you are paying attention to the bookcases, they will not be able to hit you either. So sometime after all of this craziness happening, the rat boy will spawn in the middle of the room again, Depending on how much damage you did the first time, you might be able to kill him this time. And if you don't, it will take you to another room, which isn't a hard room at all, but I also seen some of you guys struggling and not really knowing how to beat it. A lot of you were saying to get the funky drift lander and you can do it easily, but I will be showing you a way where you don't even need to run through the room at all. But essentially the rat boy will spawn eventually and the damage that you did in the first room will have stayed in the second room and if you aren't able to finish him off in this room i will show you what you need to do in the next room and a good habit to get into is when you're loading into this room before you even load into it just hold forward while holding shift because you will actually be able to move before you're actually in the room and all you need to do is get to the green lit up corner which is right here 
and the fire or lava on the ground can't actually hit you. It is a safe spot. And basically, you can stay here. Um, it's I, I don't know exactly how long it takes, but some of the lava will disappear. You do need to be careful because you can't instantly go on the floor. You will get hit. You do have to wait a second. But even though you don't finish the room or get away, the next room loads in. And basically... The other corners aren't safe. You've seen me kind of shake my mouse there. I tried to sit there one time and you still get hit. Uh, where it's lit up green right here always seems to work. And basically, you will load into the next room like I did. And now that I am in this room, sometimes it's this room and sometimes it's the next one. But it won't actually take you out of the room as fast. And I'm pretty sure it's the one after this. And I did show you there that I did get hit when the lava was gone. Just to let you guys know not to instantly move when the lava disappears. But basically, you don't need to run from the fire. Um, there are like bookcases built in your way sometimes. And if you do damage to them, they will disappear. And then you can get to the safe spot in the corner. You do need to pay attention for that. I think there's one I show you in this video. But basically, you just find a corner that's lit up green like this one, stand in it, wait for the lava to disappear, and then you will be safe to walk. And as you guys can see in this video clip, we will eventually follow the pathway without us loading out of the screen. We find some barrels stacked up. I think I call them bookcases, but they're just a barricade, basically. And as you guys can see, we have fire still here that's slowly uh, disappearing and... That is because the rat boy has spawned here. If you still haven't killed him, this is the third and last room that you are able to kill him in. Except instead of it ending right here if you don't kill him, the cycle will repeat itself and you will go back into the first room. Which you should most definitely be able to kill him by this room. But if not, you would just repeat the steps again until you... Well, not kill him, get him low enough till when he wakes up, I guess. It's a really weird concept, but basically you're hurting him enough to wake him up, I guess. And that is this amount of health. Um, you used to be able to kill him and he dropped Rat Boy's secrets, but I think they fixed it. Uh, not really sure if it was intended or not, but either way, that is how you get to the circus. Now, for killing this boss, I really only know, like I said earlier, um, how to do it with wings and a minion. Basically, you can't get hit at all if you're just flying in the air. Uh, he has two attacks that can hit you, and one of them does quite a bit of damage, and the other one's not really a big deal, and you can pretty much destroy it before it does anything to you. And they all kind of look like this attack there. Uh, one of them is that bomb attack, which I think if you get far enough away, it wouldn't hurt you. I haven't really tried to get under it, because I have a minion and I can't really do that. But another one of attacks is where he kind of just walks and you hear the explosions. As long as you're in the air, it doesn't do anything to you. Same with that little blast attack that he has. As long as you're flying in the air, it actually doesn't hit you at all. Um, I tried to get you guys to be able to see all the attacks, but he just kept using the bomb one. And if you can't kill him that fast, you would need to bring some food into this fight just to heal in case he does that specific attack because it does do a lot of damage and I did show you guys there that you can kind of just fly away from an attack and uh, it won't hit you but ideally that isn't something that you can do realistically all of the time another one of his attacks is a lot of red circles will spawn on the ground and he makes them shoot into the sky as long as you look down and make sure there's not one under you you will not get hurt by that attack and another one of his attacks is the ball that he spawns there and it kind of like links a chain to you and will hurt you over time. You are able to shoot the little circle ball that he spawns and it will destroy it or you just get far enough away and it will stop hurting you and it will disappear. But anyways that is my guide on how to kill this boss. I do decide to show you guys though that you can skip all of the first rooms if you just do enough damage to the rat boy and you probably need a gnome rocket launcher to do it or a few people I think I mentioned earlier I'm not quite sure if it scales with more people or not I haven't tried it 
and I did decide to go ahead and show you guys what I am wearing. Basically, it is just endurance build. Um, I might have showed it earlier, but once again, it's just mostly endurance items. The 10% endurance ring, 1 HP regen, minion and wings, which I would highly recommend having a minion and wings. It just makes things a lot easier. Uh, vital pendant doesn't really go wrong. If you do get hurt, it will heal you enough to survive. Forgotten Life Armor is just the best armor in the game still. Uh, not sure if that'll ever change, but if you don't have that armor yet, you guys should definitely save up for it. And these items right here, the Nightmare Watches, they will skip you straight to the boss fight. But like I said earlier, I am just going to show you guys that you can skip all the other rooms and get there just from beating the first room. Uh, pretty sure you probably need a Gnome Rocket Launcher, a few friends. But essentially, as soon as you load into this room, you start shooting the rat boy and obviously you action cancel so you can shoot faster. Uh, you don't necessarily need to. Sometimes I stay longer in this room and other times it only lasts for a few seconds, which is kind of weird. Whenever I don't make it, I'll just Alt F4 and I'll respawn right back outside. But for the most part, you can get them down enough without any problem. I didn't even really action cancel that much right there and I was able to get him down to enough HP which as you guys can see we load straight into the circus and we were able to kill him again. But that's pretty much going to wrap up this video guys so I hope it helped you out and if you have any more questions feel free to leave a comment or message me on my discord server. Um, I know a lot of you were struggling on that second room with all the bookcases and the rat boy tokens. So I hope this kind of helps you guys out if you didn't know about that way to beat it. And for the third room, you can just run to the end and get to the end of every room, but staying in the corner is just a lot easier. So hope that helps you guys out too. And if you haven't subscribed yet, feel free to do so. I do make a lot of Fantastic Frontier related videos, and I will be making a few Rocket League and Dead by Daylight videos in the future. Um, but basically, as long as there's still updates to this game, I will gladly keep making new videos for this game. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. See ya.